we start with DraftSite. And today I will walk you through a few different ways that we're leveraging DraftSite and the 3D Experience platform to work together and to manage our drawings in one single environment. And beyond that, to also manage tasks and see some of the other benefits and applications that are available on the 3D Experience platform. So I have DraftSite open and I'll open a drawing. So we'll choose this drawing of a suspension link. Loaded beautifully in DraftSite. And now let's take a look at the 3D Experience task pane on the right side of the screen. I'm gonna expand it so it's a little bit easier to see for everyone. And here, as soon as we open a drawing in DraftSite, the platform is able to see and recognize that we're working on a a uh, particular drawing on a DWG. Few things to point out. Uh, we can see what the title of the drawing is. We can see its current status. And in this case, currently it is not synced and not stored on the 3D Experience platform. We can see which revision we're working on and if this is the latest version that's available uh, on the cloud. So to get started, the first thing that I'd like to do is show you the various options that are available when managing a drawing on the platform. So of course, if you have a drawing saved, you can open it directly from the platform into DraftSite. Uh, we can save it, which we'll do in a moment. We can also reserve it to make sure that no one else is working on a drawing that we are working on. And as soon as we finish making any changes, we can unreserve it. We can make sure we're working on the latest copy by reloading it from the server and also replacing it by a revision if we're working on a different one. We can control the maturity of a drawing and create a new revision of this specific drawing directly through the DraftSite interface. So first, let's save the drawing so it's available on the platform. We can verify that the status of the drawing is okay. We're saving revision A1. We'll check and click save. The drawing is automatically saved and uploaded to the platform and available to all other users. We can see that the status of the drawing has been updated automatically and the drawing is currently not reserved, so it's available for anyone else on the engineering team to open in DraftSite and start to work on it. Now, I'd like to review what maturity state this specific drawing is in. So by right-clicking and going to maturity, we can see what state this drawing is in. And this is the workflow that's available by default, but it can be customized to suit your specific needs. So currently, the drawing is in work. We can freeze it or we can release it if we have finished making changes to this drawing. So let's release it. By simply clicking, the drawing is automatically released. We'll get a notification that the maturity of this particular drawing has been updated. And this is the latest version being saved to the 3D Experience platform. Now, what happens if we make a change to a release drawing? So really quickly, I'll go into DraftSite and I'll just change one of the colors for the layers that I have. So we'll uh, choose the dimensions. Currently they're cyan. We will change them to green. I'll save this locally. And as soon as we've changed the drawing and saved it locally, you'll notice that the status has changed because now we are not working on the latest version of the drawing that has been saved to the 3D Experience platform. So we'd like to save our new version, the one with the green dimensions, to the platform. Now one thing to note, I already released the A1 revision. It was not in an in-work state. So I can't overwrite it, but I'm able to automatically create a new revision so that everyone else can see that I've made a change without affecting the released version. So by selecting new revision, I'm able to save and synchronize this to the platform. 
it's automatically updated. And the status is green. And we'll notice that a new revision is automatically created for us, in this case, B1. And the drawing uh, is available to the team. If we ever want to revert and go back to A1, to the first revision that was available, simply right-clicking, we can use the Replace by Revision option. And we're able to see what revisions are available. So let's select A1. We'll overwrite any of the changes that I've made. And come back to our original drawing. So this is a simple example of how we can manage our drawings directly from DraftSite and from our desktop into the cloud so that it's available to everyone. We can create new revisions automatically and not have to waste time emailing or chasing down the latest versions of any drawing. But we can go a step beyond that. We can collaborate and manage and assign tasks. So, There are additional apps and roles available on the platform, and I'll take a quick look into the Collaborative Tasks app, which is an application that allows a manager to assign a task to his team, uh, attach any uh, deliverables, and we can work directly through DraftSite. So I've been assigned a task of finishing a drawing. Currently, it is in a to-do state, and I can also see that there's an attachment for this task. I'd like to start working on it. So first, I'll move this task into the in-work state. I'll open the task. So the requirement is to change the dimensions to red. It's currently in work, and I can see which drawing I'm supposed to work on. So let's open that drawing directly inside of DraftSite. So as soon as I click open, it's going to get the drawing from the 3D Experience platform and open it directly inside of DraftSite. I'll go back to my session to make sure that I'm working on the correct revision. make sure it's saved locally as well. And we can see that because I've made a change, drawing has not been synced to the platform. Also, I'd like to reserve it to make sure I'm the only one who has access to it at this time. And you'll notice that as soon as a drawing is reserved, you'll get this little green key icon to make sure to show that you're the only one who can access and work on the drawing at a given time. Now we'll make a change, so. We'll make the dimensions green as requested, sorry, red as requested. We'll save it here. And then make sure the latest version is updated to the platform. Now the drawing is an in-work state, it hasn't been released. So we can override what's been stored in the cloud and click save. The drawing has been updated and we'll also unreserve it so that everyone else on the team can review it and make any additional changes if they've been assigned that task. The drawing has been unreserved. We're working with the latest version, so our job is complete. We'll go back to the Collaborative Tasks app. and we'll mark this task as complete. All right, so we just looked at a way of leveraging the 3D Experience platform beyond just managing a drawing. We can also assign tasks, add attachments to them for other engineers to complete, make adjustments, uh, assign deliverables, upload the latest versions, and complete our workflow. So let's actually take a look at the 3D Experience platform. So I'll jump over into my browser, into Google Chrome, and I'm able to access the same 
functionality that's available in the task pane inside of DraftSite. And I can see the drawings, I can track the life cycle, and I can also see my tasks in one single view. So first, I'd like to review the drawing that I was just working on a minute ago, and I'd like to see what state it's in. By dragging it into the Collaborative Lifecycle app, I can see that this was revision A1. It was modified uh, about a minute ago by us when we updated and saved it to the platform. And now we'd like to release the drawing. It's automatically been updated. If it ever becomes obsolete, we can make additional changes. We can send it back to the in-work state. And this is just working with drawings. We can also create revisions directly on the fly uh, inside of our browser, inside of the platform, and we can go a step beyond that. So let's take a look at some of the other applications that are available on the platform that help us get our job done. So let's jump over into the project management task. So we can create projects to track our tasks so that we're working in a much more organized way and in a workflow that's suitable for our team. And this is not limited to just engineering. We can have projects for the finance department, for sales, for product management, for any group, team, or department in an organization. But we'll stick to engineering for now. We can track any milestones related to the projects that we're working on. We can see the tasks and what we have left to do, if anything is currently in work and what's been completed as well. And also we can track if anything is at risk or if we may miss a deadline for completing a drawing or delivering a project for our customer. We can track our burn down as well as who is working on the project and where, if we're allocating resources correctly. If we jump over into the tasks view, we see those same states of to do in work and completed for the various tasks that are part of this specific project. And by looking at the schedule, we can see if we're on track to deliver and also assign any required milestones. We can create additional tasks and also set any, for example, requirements by interacting with various tasks. So the task has automatically been scheduled and updated. We can also manage the members of a project and make sure that the right people are working and also that management has visibility. And we can update individuals on the fly. For example, we'll take Jane and we can make her into a viewer if she doesn't have to modify or create tasks in our project, but she wants to have visibility. And additionally, any content that's added as an attachment or a deliverable for any of our project tasks would also be visible uh, as part of the project. And moving on to the collaboration aspect, we have an app on the platform called 3D Swim. And 3D Swim allows you to collaborate throughout the organization or at a project or department level. So we can create communities where we invite other members and we share data, whether it's tracking meeting minutes, whether it's tracking standards. For example, we can jump into our wiki and look at some of the design standards that we're leveraging or any quality standards for the projects that we're working on. We can additionally share images if we have for example, from Ben, there was a, a defective suspension link shared uh, from a customer. We can share simulation results and we can also upload CAD data directly into a community. And again, this is not limited for just engineering. Product management can leverage communities to share framework and to share best practices and their methodology for tracking projects and products. Finance can share financial results in one single view Marketing can receive uh, product renders for, from engineering. And sales can track market reports and market insights, leveraging some of the additional roles on the platform. So all of these different departments are working in one single environment, collaborating, whether it's engineering and draft site or product, 
product management working in swim communities and the project planning app or finance and sales just using swim to share content and give visibility to the right key stakeholders so that's a very brief overview of the 3d experience platform and how it works together with DraftSite.